This is Redbeard, and in this adventure, I analyze my North Georgia get-off. Well, that didn't work so well. I want to set the scene for you. It's a Sunday afternoon, right after church, I head up to North Georgia. It's a cool January day, we're talking mid-50s. Uh, I'm have I got this new suit I'm trying out. It's keeping me nice and warm. Uh, the curves are, are going well. I, I get up there and dust off some of the cobwebs, and I'm trying some new things that I was uh, I've been learning, just how to take curves well on a big bike, throwing my weight the way it needs to be. Curves are going well. I'm carving them like I've never carved them before. Having a great time, uh, but uh, little did I think about. I hadn't had lunch. It's been a few hours riding, of, of meeting people. So the the issue is, I, I'm a little tired. I'm not thinking about my tiredness. I'm not thinking about that I hadn't eaten. I'm just thinking about it. I'm having a great time. So I'm tired. I don't realize it, and I could make a mistake. So what happens? Well, if you watch carefully here, I have a good line on the curve, and then all of a sudden, I straighten up. Now, this is okay to do if you straighten up and you're slowing down, and you're going to be able to get back into the curve. But I didn't slow down. Just for whatever reason, I straightened up, and now I have made the curve entirely too tight. Oh. Oh. Well, that didn't work so well. A number of people stopped to check on me. Um, I, I told them all I was doing fine. I was standing up. I was moving around. Um, I did take my camera off and I put it in the trunk. But uh, I didn't turn the camera off. And so it recorded uh, some of the audio as I'm talking to people and uh, telling them things are okay. And as somebody comes to help me, and uh, I get them to grab the handle, and we get it away from the guardrail. So it had kind of sunk in the mud, and, and against the guardrail, and it was uh, it was stuck pretty good. Um, but the two of us were able to get it out, and uh, and then I was able to get down the road and assess some of the damage. Uh, mainly, uh, what I could see at the time was it was mainly mud everywhere, and of course, uh, the the guard um, for the engine and the saddlebags were chewed up pretty good. So at the time, I mainly was concerned about will the bike be okay going down the road? Can I get back to the house or back to the church because I had a meeting that night? Um, or did I need some uh, bigger help, tow or something? Um, but the bike looked fine, uh, so off I went. Uh, now, I, would, I did realize I needed to eat, um, so I got back to Atlanta and got me a pizza and was standing in line. And that's when I started realizing... Uh, there was a little damage uh, to me or to my suit anyway, so now we should uh, we should look at uh, the damage to me and my gear. So I do have some videos of my arrow stitch suit that didn't fare too well. I, I actually sent these photos to Arrow Stitch to see uh, what they could do for repairs, and they said it could not be repaired. So I, I ended up ordering a new one which is a uh, slate color, and I, I like much better. You can see that in some, some other videos, as I, I have I've created some videos since, uh, since I got the new one. Um, but as you can tell, it, uh, it took a pretty good beating as I slid across the road, um, but um, I didn't get any abrasions. I did, however, get some bruising uh, from hitting the guardrail. You can see the bruising here. Um, it took a little while for it to heal. I had a little bit of stiffness, but all in all, I was able to, to get out of there without any, any major damage. So this is, to me, this is saying, hey everybody, wear the gear. You never know what's going to happen. I've talked to some other people who didn't wear the proper gear and had things happen to them. Uh, whether it was uh, a lot of skin damage or they spent a number of weeks in the hospital. Uh, the gear is important. I mean, I know people get upset when somebody jumps in on a, on a picture or something and says, oh, you should be wearing the gear. And, and I understand it's not necessarily the right place to do that, but 
they have your own interests at heart. They really want you to stay safe out there. So that all the gear all the time is a, is not just a cliche. It's it's pretty important. If I wasn't wearing the proper gear in this one, I would be in some serious hurt. So please, uh, please, when you jump on the bike, have the right gear on. You never know what's going to happen, whether it's a deer jumping out in front of you, uh, a car stopping suddenly, swerving at you, or uh, you being a little more tired than you thought you were, and you... Uh, and you, you make a mistake. Um, these these machines aren't necessarily dangerous, but they are not are not very forgiving. So be safe out there. This is Redbeard. Until my next next adventure. See you on the road.